Well, as promised, here's a bit of a walk around of the Triumph TR250. My brother Tim and I have been working on low these many years. Was looking at the some of the early before photos the other day, and it has been a few years what with COVID and him moving here from Ohio. That uh been but it has come along quite nicely Tim is doing an excellent job on the interior all of this glued in I've just thrown the seats in here just to get them out of the way we just finished up a week of working on it then we'll go home and recuperate for a while and I'll take care of some of the household chores and garage chores that I've put off while we was working on this. It's going on quite well. We Took it on a test drive the other day, and the speedometer didn't function at all, and the tack was jumpy, and so we have eBayed. That's another set of gauges. They seem to be pretty darn good shape, nice and smooth, and they look good. So now we'll be able to button the dash up. Next trip down, we got to put in these strip weather strips here, felt that goes in. That's quite a chore. Tim said he's picked up a tidbit from one of the Triumph pages and ordered a special $8 tool that was supposed to make it nice. We'll get the uh, carpet laid in last. We'll be working on the getting the top installed. The convertible top is always a chore. It's not really part of my expertise. I had done some install of tops when occasionally a convertible would get wrecked, but not quite as much as what this is. We successfully got his on, so I anticipate that we will be able to get this one too. So that's kind of it for the update. Uh, mechanicals seem to be pretty good. Motor room's nice. Transmission shift's nice. So a little bit of cosmetic work and a thorough cleaning and polishing. We'll have a nice little ride. So once again, thanks for watching.